other thing that's happening here is what we call crowdsource, asking a lot of people to submit their ideas and aggregating them into some form of offer. So crowdsource video is a type of engagement strategy. Here we can ask people to send in their videos, tell them about their experience of using a certain product. Um, we put all, all this, uh, these offers together in one place. It becomes um, a type of unique content that people want to see and view and allows us to be in a position to share this content. And, and the sharing is a very, very important aspect. And I think we're going to see a lot of video in the coming years with broadband and speeds getting faster and faster. Now, the issue with using video is this. First of all, 60% of web-based video is only watched for 10 seconds. And that it is really hard to produce an Academy Award-winning video that people want to see. And that it's very easy to do sort of plain vanilla, and there's nothing the matter with that. People want educational information, and they want well done. But what we have to remember is shorter is better. Engagement in the first 10 seconds is critical. And that going out to the audience, and asking them to submit their ideas is a great way to come up with videos that might have potential life. And so I'd like to just take a second here and play for you um, this video um, created by HP's um, – I'd like to take a minute to show you this video that HP solicited by running a contest among students about the creativity they could do with HP printers. It's a fabulous spot. If you haven't seen it, it's well worth the – um, view for a minute 20, and you're going to see the type of video that we want to be striving for going forward. So let's play that video now. much. Uh, I, I'd like to now just conclude with uh, three thoughts. We talked about, again, the social media as the new offer strategy. I received this the other day. And what you can see in this um, social media um, LinkedIn group messaging is the offer promotion to come visit this uh, new uh, interviewing of 24 people to participate, to get involved in a two-day event. And I thought it was a great example of how a LinkedIn platform is being used to promote an offer strategy among a group of social media experts, a great correlation of what's happening. Because in the end, social media platforms, outbound direct marketing communication are all tying together. The, the actual weaving of the fabric of the web is designed to help improve our organic search results, that our LinkedIn communication is designed to cross-promote our other content that we have. Our Facebook fan page can promote the YouTube videos we have. Our YouTube videos can be tied back to Facebook and be tied to our, um, our own corporate site. The compare site can be tied back to offer strategies. And in the end, this interwovenness of, of social media, of classic direct offerings, of new style offers, of classic offers, is what, it, what we're looking for and what we're trying to challenge ourselves as the new era of marketing, all done in an accountable, measurable factor to bring someone in and through the sales funnel. So with that, we're ready to take your questions. Um, if you'd like to download any of our three guides, uh, please visit the site, thecurrentorg.com, backslash TKO webcast. 
uh, you can find out about how to maximize your demand generation um, by choosing the right channel, offer strategies that fill your pipeline, or our B2B high-tech lead farm that talks about the best practice in a mar integrated marketing automation uh, methodologies from demand generation to nurturing. And with that, I'd like to uh, start our first question of the day. So um, please enter your questions. and.